hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Today, around the house is going to be super chill, so I said, you know what, why not show the girls a little bit of the denim I have been collecting as of late. As you guys know, denim is super, super on trend everywhere, but really, has denim really ever gone out of style? Yeah, denim's always been around. Um, so I want to share with you today some of the new denim pieces that I have picked up. There's a piece hanging right here, just out of view. You can't see it, but I am about to throw it on. It is a little bit out of what I typically wear, but could not leave it in the store. For those of you who have been here for a while will recall that this closet, when it was another color, we're gonna do a closet tour here very, very soon down the road. Um, but when this closet was that other color, there was like two levels of denim. You see there's a row of denim here, there's some denim there, but then up here there was another row of denim and then back over this way was another little area of denim. I have been a huge lover of denim, I would say, since like my freshman, freshman year of college, I would say is when it started. Me and some Levi's, we were down like four flat tires. Like we, you know, we were like really, really tight. I loved, loved denim. So I think now that I can purchase as much denim as I want, I will, <laughs> I do have the tendency to go a little bit overboard. I think my favorite pieces of denim Denim shorts, denim cut off shorts, absolutely love them. However, now that we are going into fall, at least that what, that's what the calendar says. The calendar says we are headed into fall, but if you live in the South, it is fall only by the calendar. When you step outside, it is hot as all get out. So come and get these nice breezes and hopefully the breezes will pick up here in a minute. But anyway, anyway, about to ramble out of control, reel it back in. I wanna share with you some of the newer denim and the older denim that I have in and how I plan to style it up. All right, so today's look, current look, I will be getting dressed later on uh, to head out, but right now I am wearing this really luxurious robe, guys. This robe is from Amazon. Um, over here, I have one, two, three other ones. These little robes from Amazon, I just absolutely love them. These robes will take you from just sashaying around the house to even outside of the house, guys. I have worn these robes as kimonos. I'll put a tank top on, a pair of cute little distressed jeans. These right here are my absolute fave jeans. So, you know, we're gonna be talking about denim today. These right here, for whatever reason, look great with these kimonos. Like I said, a cute little white tank top, super simple, and a pair of my Tory Burch Millers. So I will absolutely have the links for these robes down below. So fresh out of the shower. Now, speaking of shower, today's oil of choice for your girl is Lick Me All Over. Those of you who know, absolutely know, that you can head over to the Unfrumpy Mommy store and purchase your body oil. Yes, I said Lick Me All Over is what I'm wearing. Currently, guys, you don't have to say Lick Me All Over, you know, for nighttime use it's it's a great oil <laughs> always and then my body mist you guys love the body mist uh thank you so much to those of you who have shopped the unfrumpy mommy store and picked up this product you guys know this is new to the unfrumpy mommy store so today's fragrance is femme fatale if you know you know that femme fatale is my version of versace's woman all right, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in, into today's first look because I'll sit here and twirl all day <laughs> in this robe. This is so just out of the realm of what I would normally wear, but I love it. I absolutely love this. Wait until I step back. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to get the full kind of picture of what this is. Eric isn't here right now but i shared this with him when did i buy this like two days ago he was like if you show this to the ladies on your channel let me know so that i can come in there and bring you 
a wrench because you look like you are getting ready to go work on somebody's house. So this is it guys. This is today's first bit of denim. This is a new end piece for me. Um, but I love it. Oh my gosh. I think this is going to be one of those pieces that you, I don't know, we'll have to agree to disagree. Uh, you either love it or you hate it. I am a fan. I am a fan. So that guys, this is from Target. This is absolutely from Target. This is giving me, it could be H&M, this could be Zara. Um, I don't know who the buyer is for Target, but they are over there getting the job done. These pockets right here, these pockets right here seal the deal for me, all right? I love when a piece not only has pockets, but it's a pocket that I don't have to go searching around for. You know, sometimes we'll have those pieces of clothing. They'll have pockets, but the pocket's all the way back here, and you gotta kind of reach around. This jumpsuit, you take your hands, drop right down into the pocket. So I absolutely love that. Um, what I have done is roll the sleeves up to kind of give you a little bit of a two-tone type of denim. The dark denim is super on trend right now for fall and winter, so love, love that. I'm not an acid wash type of girl because I think this came in like a distress, distressed black acid wash color. I left that one, but had to pick this one up belt loops on it so if you wanted to you could absolutely belt this but this is this is a vibe right here for me this is absolutely a vibe love it so it zips all the way down when i initially when i initially saw it hanging i was like man that's gonna be a lot of buttons to unbutton if i need to use the restroom out in public but pleasantly surprised when i saw that it has a zipper i have it you know, par partially unzip, you know, give it a little bit more of a feminine flair. Uh, these earrings that I'm wearing are also from Target. Look at that, just gorge, 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 love it. Uh, they have these pockets here, it has these pockets, little snap pockets. This is just an entire, entire moment. Uh, big pockets here on the back side, like, <laughs> Eric said, I look like, honestly, I'm getting ready to go work on somebody's house, maybe do some painting. So absolutely love this. Don't worry. Everything that I share with you guys here today will absolutely be linked, but you guys have to let me know what you think about this. This is how it looks with the sleeves down. All right. So still looks great. Still looks great, even with the sleeves down, but I think I'm partial to having it do you call it cuffed on the sleeves? Like, is it, oh, you know what would be cute too? You could possibly even cuff the, the legs. Um, I'm not gonna do that here today, but I'm pretty sure um, some of you girls will style it up that way. Uh, for my shoes, I think my Gucci Princetown loafers or my Gucci mules in the red and blue with the horse bit. I think these would look really nice with this. So let's see, I'll step back. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. I like it, let me zip this up just a little bit. Um, but this is the collar on it, guys. This, oh my gosh. I never would have thought that I, you know, would be a fan of a jumpsuit. You know, we've had people come here, paint the house, and this is what they had on, just in white, or some some color similar to white. But I, 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 I am absolutely loving this. I'm, I'm almost speechless. And then for my bag, I think I would like, let's see, let's see, let's see. For my bag, I think my Christian Dior book tote would absolutely look amazing with this. Never mind this pillow. I keep my bags stuffed. They hold their shape. You guys will have to drop down. Leave a comment. Let me know if when you're not using your handbags, do you stuff them? I stuff mine. Um, I feel they hold up a lot better, a lot longer that way. But yeah, this is the look. Oh my gosh. Okay, Target. Okay, Target. <laughs> 
forget, drop down, leave a comment. Let me know if a jumpsuit would be something that you could see inside your wardrobe. Like I said, that's something that I never thought I needed, but I'm really glad that I saw it in Target. It was actually the last one. Like I said, they did have a few other in like an acid wash black. Wasn't a fan of that one, but all of the darker denim, like the one that I just shared, gone except for that one that I picked up. So let me know if you can see that inside of your wardrobe. All right, so still at Target. The other new piece, another new piece from Target in my wardrobe is this denim jacket. Eric used to have a jacket very similar to this in college right it's kind of like a members only type of design really reminiscent of a men's style but it's for us girls so i got this out of the wild and fable section at target i picked it up in an extra large because i did want it to be a bit oversized all right, there's no lining on the inside, just denim through and through. Pockets here, gotta love the pockets. And then that little pocket right there. This, the pocket placement is actually what reminds me or puts me in the mind of one of Eric's old jackets from back in the day. Like I said, this is really giving me members only vibes. All right, so let's go ahead and style this up and um, see, you know, see what I come up with. But you guys know this piece right here, a jacket, super, super versatile. Jeans, um, you know, the tux, what is it? A Canadian tuxedo look is the denim on denim, very popular right now. Skirt, put it over like a satin dress, leggings. All right, this look goes hard. This look goes hard. This look, you wear this outside of the house. You are about your business. You are not that girl to be messing around with while we are shopping in these home goods streets or wherever. Get out of the way, get out of the way. She came to handle her business, all right? Um, this crop top I shared with you guys in a recent haul. Guys, this crop top is from Target. I love it. Um, it's from that same Wild Fable, Wild Fable uh, line in Target. Absolutely love it. These leggings that I have on, if you've been here on the channel for two days, you know I am a fan, A, of Amazon, two, these leggings that you get from Amazon for $7 and some change. But this is the look. Let me show you why is she wearing one shoe. Hold the line. These boots, guys, I shared I want to say in that same video, I think. These are from Steve Madden. Yes, these are Steve Madden. They are a combat boot. Get into the sole of this shoe. This means, again, she is out handling business. She has her buggy. That's like her tank. Move, ladies, move, ladies. She's trying to get the deals. All right, so... A lot of stringing up here. I think I mentioned that to you when I shared these with you guys um, the other day, but no worries. Love the fact that there's a zipper right there. So let me slip this other one on. Hopefully I can do this without falling down. Let's see if, let's, let's, let's see what my balance is like. All right, let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> um, Many of you may not know, a little known fact about me is, let's see, um, I was in the Marching 100 at FAMU. Yes, I am a graduate, proud graduate, proud alumni of FAMU. Now see, why is this one giving me this problem? Because I'm filming. Get in there. All right, see how easy that was? So, yes, proud FAMU alumni, but I was also in the marching 100 and so you know we had to balance a lot um so i guess i still got it i don't know but so this is the look right here right one shoe is tied up tied up the other one kind of dangling but you know we're not going anywhere i'm just trying to share with you guys um how i plan to style up my new in denim um quick question guys are panty lines okay is it okay to show panty lines these days? I don't know. 
I don't know, I'm always, you know when you're out, you can't help but notice if someone has panty lines. And I'm always like, I mean, but gosh, the pants are so thin. What is she supposed to do? What is she supposed to do? Typically when I wear these, my butt is covered. However, today, you know, before I put my jacket on, my butt is exposed and I'm not wearing the correct armor undergarments. And so you may see a little bit of a panty line, but so is it okay these days for the panty lines to show? I don't know. All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at it with the, let's take a look at it with the jacket. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm loving it. It's a vibe, it's a vibe. It goes hard, I love it, it goes hard. Now, I haven't been able to go out of the house and wear anything close to this hot, right? It has not been cold enough to wear this, but I'm ready. Again, with the pocket, just reach in and it's right there. Uh, you have a zipper here. I'm not sure if I will use the zipper, but if I need it to, you know, I like this. I like this a lot. I know when Eric sees this, he's gonna be like, ooh, are you getting ready to go fight? Looks like a whole commando outfit, okay? And so, for my handbag, I have the perfect handbag for this. It is my new YSL puffer. I think this is the medium size. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. What you guys will see too as I style up these pieces, I don't do a lot of jewelry. Like, these big hoop earrings that I'm wearing, and again, these are from Target. They're a lot for me. I am a really, really simple, basic type of dresser. I just really am. Um, I do like a nice handbag, and I like really boisterous, loud handbags. So for me, I, I let my, my bags do the talking. I don't do a lot of jewelry. I really don't. And then so with this YSL puffer, because the chain is in this really pretty um, kind of antique gold. You have the same type of metal here on the logo. To me, that is jewelry enough, right? That's jewelry enough. However, if I was feeling kind of adventurous and I wanted to, wanted to kick it up a level, unpop the sleeves, right? Okay, not doing too much and then possibly grab my Fendi cuff. And for me, this is a lot. The addition of the Fendi cuff for me is, it's this is it. I'm not gonna add another piece. And, I, and if you're anything like me, before you leave the house, you're probably gonna take the cuff back off. Um, but yeah, so that's the look, guys. I love it. This is a great shopping look, like I said. And then after you have, you know, worked up a sweat, you've had your comeback with the buggy, you know, shopping. This is a great, let's just, you know, run up to the mall or whatever, grab a quick bite to eat. Yeah. As Chase would say, this look goes hard. This look goes hard. So Chase kind of started saying that Chase has on his passport, not the best passport picture, uh, but he loves it because <laughs> it's a bit, it's, uh, it goes hard. So he needed his passport picture a couple of weeks ago for something for school. And he was like, yeah, mom, I'm never trying to reach, uh, can I keep this picture? Do I have to retake my passport picture? Because I love this one. This one goes hard. That passport picture goes hard. He loves it. When we travel, get ready to travel out of the country and they're looking, um, what is it, uh, TSA or whatever, they're looking at his picture, looking at him like, what happened to you that day? But but he loves it. He says it, it just goes hard. It, it goes hard. But anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> let me know. Um, how you guys feel about how I styled this up. So from Target, the denim jacket, look at, again, doesn't this jacket look like it could, could come from H&M? Target is, yeah, I, I just absolutely love it. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. That was a fun look. 
For me, that's gonna be hard to beat. I thought that the jumpsuit was going to be my favorite, but I think because it went so hard, <laughs> it's gonna be the comeback boot with the members only denim jacket. Uh, but drop down, leave a comment. Don't forget, let me know which was your favorite. Also, before you leave, before you leave a comment, like the video. Those of you who always leave comments, you guys know who you are, but just in case you forgot who you were, let me pull up the most recent video. Some of you are just faithful, faithful commenters. Is that a word? Just made that up. And I really, really, really do appreciate it. Those of you with your notifications on, Thank you, you're the real MVPs for having those notifications on. Thank you so much. Uh, LaGuelle Howell, LaGuelle Howell, always in here commenting. Christine always comments. Um, I didn't see her comment. Christine, I didn't see you comment in the last video, so I hope everything is going well with you. Hope everything is all right. Aretha, hi Aretha. If Aretha doesn't comment in the on the video, she's sending me emails. Um, Judy Snail, of course. Psalms 41. Um, Ken Naturalista, I hope I said that right. T Washington, Trina Patton. Just see WDN9482. Almitra, of course. Hi, Almitra. There you are. Christine, you did comment on the last video. I must have missed it. Yeah, let me go ahead and heart that real quick. Uh, I am so sorry, Christine. I must have was around here filling orders and missed your comment. Christine, I'll read it right now. Christine says, Good morning, Tan, Eric, and Chase. She always speaks to the household. Excited to watch this new video. Have a super blessed day. Thank you so much, Christine. Sorry I missed that. Hope you're having a super blessed day as well. And then the list just goes on. Harissa, hi, Harissa. Let me heart yours. I missed your comment. Please, ladies, before you put a comment on this particular video, go over and give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's all appreciated over here. Um, Let's get the thumbs up ups. All right, anyway, let me know what y'all thought about that particular look. And the next look is going to be a pair of Levi's jeans. I mentioned at the top of the video that I've always been a lover of Levi's jeans ever since my freshman year in college. And back then, you could get Levi's jeans for like $30, $30. And I think they were better back then also. My favorite style was the Levi's 501s, button fly, loved them. Well, now Target sells the Levi's, right? And these are, are these stretchy? There's a little bit of stretch in these, a little bit of stretch. Uh, back in the day, I didn't really need the stretch. I really appreciate the stretch now. These are the wedgie straight. I've never owned the wedgie straight. I love the look of these absolutely love the look of these and then they are also short as you guys can see there's also some distressing down here at the hem and I love the little bit of discoloration it's like they took the hem out of the out of the jeans and then left that little discoloration right there so super excited to share with you guys how I style these up and then they are also button fly but so yeah, like I mentioned, back in the day, my freshman year of college, Eureth, hi Eureth, Eureth's my uh, roommate from college. She's another one who always gets in here and leaves a comment. Eureth is also a faithful, faithful supporter of the store. So Eureth, girl, you look, you know I love you down. Love you down. All right, but she and I, and Eureth, you may not remember this, she and I used to go to this, <sighs> gosh, what? I don't remember the street in Tallahassee, but we used to drive way out. Maybe I'm thinking it was way out, but we drove a little ways and we'd go out and we'd look for shoes. And I remember I would always be, I'd always have on a pair of uh, Levi's jeans and some pumps just to go shopping. Oh my gosh, now me, some pumps, some heels. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Them days, we don't do that no more. Not really. Um, but yeah, 
Anyway, <laughs> let me share with you guys how I style these up. Oh, <laughs> I knew what I was gonna say. These were like $70. These were $70 at Target. Like what the what? What is Target doing selling anything for $70? If it's not over in electronics, I don't think Target should have anything over $40. But anyway, we move. I hope the lighting is okay. I really hope the lighting is okay. What I will say is I really, really love filming now in the closet now that it's white it is just so much brighter i just absolutely love it um but so yeah so i have the wedgie jeans on here and today's top is one of those amazon sweaters that i shared with you guys maybe a video or two back so i remember telling you guys that if you are on the bus to your side tops sweaters whatever with a nice v really helps to i don't know they give the girls breathing room we don't seem so confined and then you know making it look just too super tight you know we need room so i love these sweaters that i got from amazon with the v neck cut i have them over here um if you missed that video I purchased, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, right? My trick for Amazon, because you, you know, you can't go into the Amazon store and try it on, at least not yet, right? So what I do, I'll order a size or a color that I think I'll like, get it home, you know, Amazon shipping, you know, these days it can be kind of hit or miss back in the day it was you can get your amazon stuff in two hours um but these days it's kind of hit or miss but i haven't had to wait longer than two or three days for my orders from amazon so what i like to do you know order one or two in a color or a size and then get it home see if i like it and then if i like it i will go back and order it in multiple colors and that's what i've done so got the amazon sweater these are the wedgie jeans this is how they look in the back. Um, not doing the most, but I think they're super flattering. I think they're super flattering. Oh, Yuri, what year were we roommates? So we weren't roommates my freshman year. Were we like juniors or something? Juniors or seniors when we were roommates? But I have to say, Yuri was my most favorite roommate. Absolutely, she was my favorite roommate. I think I had two other roommates. Not sure if I told you guys the story, but my first two roommates, we had to fight. You know, I, I, little old sweet me, yes, had to get real palsy with um, my first two roommates. It was just a horrific story. If you remember that story, because I think I did tell it here on the channel, drop down, leave a comment. Uh, let me know <laughs> if you remember that story. Yeah, but so anywho, uh, let's reel it in. Um, so this is the sweater. It has this little vent right here, so super cute. You could do possibly a little tuck of the sweater if you wanted to, to kind of jazz this look up a little bit. Guys, these sweaters were like $30, $30. Love, love these. You're not gonna have, you're not gonna have these sweaters for eight seasons, you know what I'm saying? But I think they're going to get you through maybe a couple of two falls, right? So love these. Uh, love the sweater and what I have decided to do for the shoe is wear another pair of the Gucci mules. These are the leather Prince Town loafers with the horse fit detail on them. My shoes are always stuffed because I feel this really helps them to hold their shape. You guys will have to drop down, leave a comment. Let me know if you do that. I love these. Eric does not like these shoes, but honey, for me, they are absolutely a must. I really want to get another pair of these this season. Love the Gucci Prince Town loafers. I will say too, if you're trying to do this look a little bit more affordably, Target has some nice dupes for these. All right, and so because it's fall and it's still hot around these parts, you don't need to worry about socks or anything like that. And look at that. 
just a really cute look for fall. I love it. Really simple, not overdone. It's a friendly look, unlike the my, you know my combat look, or maybe or maybe the look with the jumpsuit. This is really toned down. Um, so yeah, love this. Um, I don't typically do the cropped jeans or the short jeans, but I think it works here with these wedgie jeans. I think it works with these. Uh, you guys will have to drop down, let me know. Do you prefer longer jeans? Do you prefer the cropped? I think they're calling these short, short though, not necessarily cropped, it's probably the same thing. But And so for my bag, I think my, since I have on the Gucci horse fit, mules, the Prince Town loafers. Why did you, so since I have on the Prince Town loafers, I think my handbag, for this look would be my Gucci horse fit 1955. This is new. I have yet to wear this bag. I will say today I cut the tag off. What did I do with it? Let's see. I put it right over here. I keep all of my little, you know, tags and things for my luxury bags just in case I want to sell it. I love selling my bags back with all of the you know, things that come along with it, buttons, swatches and things like that when I can. Um, but yeah, so cut the tag off of it today and I love this look. This is really, really cute. This is also a great look for, you know, if you were going shopping, maybe hanging out with your girlfriends. I love this bag, love this bag. Now, speaking of selling, I can't see me ever selling this bag. This is one of the bags that if I had a daughter, she would absolutely get this bag. I would absolutely pass this bag down to her. But since I don't, she's gonna be mine forever. Love, 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 love. Still have on those gold earrings from Target. Um, I just don't do the most with the jewelry. I really don't. Um, Let's see, maybe with this particular look, I could do my little Louis Vuitton little bracelet. Do you call this a bracelet? It's just a leather strap. Um, this could work. Just really simple and delicate. So yeah, but I don't do the most. Let me know if you guys are like me. Again, this will probably, if I were wearing this out today, this would probably come off. So yeah, that's this look. Let me know if you think $70, $69, $70 for jeans inside of Target is a bit much. No, I think that's a lot. But anywho, I'm happy with the jeans. I like them. All right, so let me know what you guys think about that look. Remember, like the video first then go and leave me your comments. Also, while you're down there in the comment section, drop your alma mater if you are, you know, if you if you don't mind. And listen, if you didn't attend college, hey, don't worry about it. College ain't for everybody. Honestly, right now, the way the the thing to be is a is an entrepreneur doing your own thing um and so you don't necessarily need college for that so but if you did attend um a college especially an hbcu <laughs> drop down leave a comment let me know what hbcu you attended now i'll go ahead and preface everything by saying despite what hbcu you attended we all know famu is the greatest right we all know famu is the greatest um it's just funny you know everybody thinks like howard and you know hampton and jackson state you know you guys always think that you have you know well bcc you guys have these you know great schools that you attended but i think you guys know deep down inside that famu is famu is that girl right famu is that institution but anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> our next look, our next denim piece is going to be a denim skirt. And no, it is not from Target. This particular denim skirt, although Target does have some great denim skirts, I saw some really cute ones in there the last time in. 
uh, the last time I was in. Um, but I'd already ordered this one from Nordstrom and the brand is PTCL. This is the skirt, super long. I love this cutout here in the front. It's like a cutout, but then they put the piece back in there. So I love that. And then there's a slit here in the back. The purpose of the slit is so that we can move around in these skirts that have like a tubular shape and not fall over. So I love that. And it is super stretchy. So you can absolutely size down on this skirt if you decide to purchase this. And I will have all the links for everything that I can find listed below in the description box. And I love the wash on this too. It's giving the same type of hem that I shared with you in those Levi's jeans, but then there's a slight bit of, not acid wash, but it's a little bit lighter wash right in here uh, in the back. But anyway, let me get these on, okay? Or get this on. This is the skirt, as you can see. It's super long. It is a long skirt for reference. I am 5'6", five, 5'6", five, and this is hitting the top of my foot, right? So a super long skirt, I love that. And like I said, it is, a, there. it's super stretchy, super stretchy. And there's, a, there's that little detail there in the front that I spoke about, I hope you guys can see that. So an absolutely really versatile skirt. This could be worn if you choose to, with some really nice heels. I could really see this dressed up with some nice heels. For me though, I am a very casual, everyday type of girl, so there'll be no heels over here. And I guess if I if I were going somewhere that required to be, you know, required heels, of course, I'd put the heels on, but just the day-to-day, -day, no, I'm not wearing heels to Kroger. I'm not, I'm not wearing heels to Target, I'm not wearing heels to Home Goods. Um, so I'll share with you the shoes that I plan to wear with these just, you know, day to day. Um, the top is from the Uncrumpy Mommy store. It is what it is. All right. You see, it is a V neck and I love my tees to be oversized, right? So this is the look. I think what I will do is to jazz it up a little bit. Again, I don't do a whole lot. I think I'll add my Hermes belt. Right now, this Hermes belt is on the side that is the color, I think they call it, um, is it orange? I think they call this orange or orange or something like that. I don't know, it's brown, girl, it is brown. Um, I'm going to actually reverse it. I love that about this particular belt. If you look around my closet, my handbags are either going to be brown, some shade of brown, beige, uh, or black. And so I love that no matter what I'm wearing, I can always add this belt in. So for me, it was worth the investment. This is another piece that I don't see myself parting ways with. I did have another designer belt. It was Louis Vuitton. That one for me was a little bit gauche, even for my taste. <laughs> it was a little bit much. So I did sell that one. So this is how it looks with the belt. I think it takes it up another level. Love that. Love that. Uh, if you're interested in this tee, head over to the On Frumpy Mommy store. I'll have a direct link for this tee down in the description box. Eric actually, I think he came up with this shirt. We were driving home from Orlando uh, one day and we were just talking and he was just like, it is what it is. And we both looked at each other and I think he was just like, you know what, that'll be a good little something to put on a tee. And you guys have loved this tea. If you have this tea, drop down, leave a comment. Let me know if you've purchased the it is what it is tea. Like the video first, then head over and let me know if you guys have this tea. For my shoes, I am thinking these particular Steve Madden boots. You will have seen these 
in a previous video little sock detail there no zippers or anything have not worn these yet but i think it, this these shoes would be great these boots um would be great with this look uh, now i'm standing here contemplating whether or not i want to put these on for you guys when i tell you it takes an act of god all the disciples the angels to get these shoes off I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and do it but I let me turn the camera off I gotta save my battery I'll be right back <laughs> they're cute shoes they are cute oh my goodness but me uh-uh I just can't because it's gonna take me 10 minutes to get this one off um, but what I can put on <laughs> is this vegan leather jacket also from Nordstrom it is cropped and I love it. I absolutely love it. It is so soft, guys. It is so, so freaking soft. Oh my goodness, I am exhausted now from trying to get this one shoe on and it's gonna be equally as difficult to get it off. Good grief. This one needs zippers. It needs a zipper. And I'm hoping that, you know, the more I break the shoe in, because I haven't worn them yet, Hopefully they'll be easier to get on and off, but this this is ridiculous. Come on, Steve, man. All right, so here is the look with the one shoe. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. I like it. I like it. I love the addition of the belt. I think it was absolutely needed. All right, and what I would do is ruch up the sleeves. I gotta find a way to get these to stay up. I have small forearm so slide back down um but i think i like it better with the sleeves ruched up what do you guys think um i love too that the t-shirt actually makes the look um it gives a more casual look to it um and then also at the same time you know the biker guys you know they have on their leather jackets and a t-shirt so it kinds of it kind of harkens to that uh, type of vibe, but I love it. I I love it. I'm gonna have some hard looks in this in this video, huh? Some hard looks. This is the back of the jacket. Um, I love the kind of curved detail in the back there. Make sure my shirt's kind of tucked in. But yeah, I love this look. And so for my handbag. What I would grab would be my St. Laurent, and this is a newer bag for me, um, Baby Cabass. My St. Laurent Baby Cabass. I think this is the perfect purse for this. Super cute, right? You could do, if I were to switch out the shoes for maybe a softer shoe, um, I would take the strap off of the bag wear it top handle and i think it would really elevate the look even more but as it stands i do crossbody right that down i can get these sleeves to stay up what do you guys think i like it better with the smaller bag because i could i could go with the larger ysl the puffer the puffer but I think this small one really, I don't know, it works better with this look. I hope you guys can see that shoe. I hope you can see that one shoe, right? Um, anyway, <laughs> that's the look guys. Let me know if you have a denim skirt in your closet, your wardrobe. Let me know how you like it. Um, I just love this one. Express has some nice ones. Like I said, Target had some, but this one right here from Nordstrom, I don't think it was 50 bucks. I really don't. The ones that I saw in Target were around $40. So same type of deal. All right, guys, we've made it to our final denim look. Don't forget, drop down, leave a comment. Let me know as I almost fall over. <laughs> let me know which denim look was your favorite. However, remember, 
go like the video first like the video first then head over leave me your comment um, regarding your favorite look here today and also let me know which college university you graduated from that is second to FAMU all right so this next set of look is going to come from Zara these are some jeans that I picked up from the Zara in Orlando Florida you guys know I've said it countless times Zara and I have a hate hate like hate relationship um, it's not a real good one. I don't tip in there all that often. The one here in Atlanta, the girls act like you're doing, they're doing you a favor, ringing you up. Um, they assume, I don't know, it's like Zara is their last name. Like it's their store and I'm bothering them. So I don't tip in there. However, the one in Orlando, Florida, we have no problems with. Um, so that's where I purchased these from. All right, so let's see how we style these up. As you can see, there is some distressing there and they are super baggy. So I have on the top that I feel is going to look great with these jeans. This is another sweater from Amazon. As you can see, I still have the tag on. So let's remove that. This one right here is actually made a little different made differently um, and I love that I think this design is actually my favorite so you see it crisscross and I think you could probably wear it different ways however I think what I'm going to do is kind of open it up a little bit like so and I guess you know you can make your V as deep as you want right so there's that again this entire look, if I were to step outside today, I would melt, melt as soon as my feet touched outside. It is so hot today, it is so hot. I am not complaining, I am not complaining um, because I am not a cold weather girl. I love the warm weather. Um, but anywho, I would pull my sleeves up a little bit. This is the look. I, lo I just love these sweaters, guys. If you decide, if you had to ask me, Tan, what's the one thing I should get in the video? You need to get these uh, Amazon sweaters. Get these Amazon sweaters. And for me, this particular design, the crisscross one, is actually my favorite. I love this one. I love this color. It's just really pretty. Just a really mauvey brown. Simply gorgeous. Now. For this particular look, you could absolutely throw on some heels, right? Because these jeans are super long, super, super long. However, for me, I think I'm going to put on a pair of my Tory Burch trainers. I love that this particular pair, I have one, two, three, four pairs of these. I love that this particular pair is picking up the colors in the look. You have this powdery baby blue that's coming from the denim, of course, and then the mauvey, chocolatey, deep richness <laughs> of this brown is coming through also. Um, and it works well with the top. All right, this is the look with the sneakers or the Tory Burch trainers. So many of you have said that you have purchased these Tory Burch trainers and you absolutely love them. I love mine. Like I said, I have four pairs of these and I am able to just move these things in and out of the different looks. Um, of course, these shoes, you know, can wear them absolutely casually, but depending on which colorway you have, these can absolutely be elevated just a little bit more than um, what I have here. And honestly, I feel this is a more, this is more of an elevated sneaker look, right? Um, I think the sweater is really the reason this look is a little bit more elevated, even though the denim is distressed. Now, of course, you're not gonna wear these everywhere, these particular uh, jeans, um, but I just feel the addition of the sweater, 
the design, the shape of it, I really think it helps to give this denim look a little bit of an uh, of, um, elevation. And I feel that the handbag, this one right here, I never, never wear, but this is one of the ones that I just cannot ever see myself parting ways with. My Speedy in the Damier Evine canvas, I love this bag. And I think it really complements this look. This is the bag that I needed. Like I have the Alma in the same canvas, but it, there's something about this look and this Speedy, I think it just works a lot better. This, this to me looks like a really great airport look too. Really great airport look. Of course, you know, shopping goes without saying, um, but this looks like I have another piece of luggage somewhere on the plane and I am headed to my terminal. So let me know what you guys think about this look. I love it. Remember everything that I can link will absolutely be linked below. Well, that is it guys. Those are all the looks. Don't forget, drop down. Before you drop down, go over, give the video a thumbs up, then head over to the comment section and let me know which look was actually your favorite. Don't forget the other assignments, the college stuff, all of the alma maters, second to fam you. <laughs> drop down, leave a comment, let me know where you hail from. Um, yeah, this was a really fun video. I had a great time making it. I hope it was fun for you all. And again, really appreciate y'all stopping in to hang out and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye -bye.